Okay, it's rolling. We're up here at the garage. We're going to take a walk down over the hill. Can I walk this yes, you may. We had about an inch and a half of snow. We'll take a look over the hill here first down to the creek and then we'll come back right down in here somewhere and we'll go that way. patient we're getting there. Oh there it is. Water looks pretty clear. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's like 50 feet down there. And if we look through the trees here we can look upstream. That's downstream, the East Fork of the Little Miami River. Oh. And we'll just, I think instead we'll just stay here on near the edge and we'll take this little trail right here. Now, I certainly hope I don't end up falling, but if I do, maybe. That'll add some humor to this. A little piece of junk there I'm going to get rid of one of these days. Now the spring, I keep this little trail I'm walking on right here all mowed. So it's possible we get down to the river here by going down that little ravine right there, which has about a two-foot step off at the bottom of the river. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to go this way and keep following this little trail. Oh, we got some critter tracks here. Back up there is the garage, so we could have come down this to where we are here. And got a nice tractor trail right here. Shed over here. So my hand a little warmer now. And the river's to the right of us here. Right over there. And we have some woods over here to the right of us. We're behind the neighbor's house right now. And we're going down here.
right on the horizon there. Behind the trees would be Blue Sky Park Road, just behind all those sort of down trees that make that strong horizontal line across the top. Oops, sorry about that. Passing Stonehenge here on my property, sacrificial altar there, and, uh, or it might be where somebody drilled a well one time. Uh, this generally property out in here, including lots of other people's houses, uh, seem to have a lot of wells on them. Uh, I have no idea why people drilled so many wells, but. They did. All right. So we just keep going here. We're, now we're going to drop over a hill here in a second. Not much of a hill. I'm hoping it's not going to be like a ski slope here. So far, so good. So this takes us down to the river. This is really pretty down here in the summer. Nice little flat piece of land. I keep it pretty well mowed down here. Still have a few more of these honeysuckle bushes to get rid of. All right. I don't know, I guess it's about 10 feet from where I'm standing right here down to the water on this flat part and we're looking way upstream there panning moving forward as we were before This water here at normal levels, which is a little lower than what this river is right now, is uh, probably three feet max. I don't know, I've caught a catfish down here. There's catfish, a variety of types of those. Let's see, what else? Bass. Sunfish. All right, still heading down a little trail. I take my riding mower all the way down here. So that keeps this pretty well maintained. But I just tripped over a ground mold tunnel there. Now we're looking downstream. Now this property pretty much ends about where, probably a little bit short of where you see that island with the snow out in the middle of the river in the middle of the screen there. I think there's a stake up on top, but uh, it ends somewhere down here close by. Now, this is slippery here. So... Uh, Try and make my way all the way down the river. I got a bunch of various little critter footprints down here. Let's see. here. Alright, I'm going to 
slide down here a little bit. I'm hanging on to a branch to keep from ski sloping down this thing. Whoa. Ah, nice little reflection in the water there, huh? Okay, in case you think it isn't pretty nippy and there's a little breeze blowing. That's all ice right there. Now I'm going to step over a little more onto this rock. And one more rock. And look along the bank and pan over to the left. Way up there. About where you can't see any more water up there. That is about the end of my property line the other direction. It ends somewhere around that, uh, it's actually sort of an island right there at the tip of my finger. We saw that from up above. <sighs> and now we're looking downstream. East Fork of the Little Miami River. Uh, where does this river go, you might wonder. It, uh, from where I'm standing, you could put a canoe in. It would eventually, after a few obstacles, take you to the Ohio River, which you could head downstream. After a few obstacles, you would hit the Mississippi River. And after a few obstacles and twists and turns, you would be at the Gulf of Mexico. So, I don't know. From here, the Gulf of Mexico is probably a few thousand miles. And one of the places it starts is way up east of here. Oh, I don't know, maybe around Lynchburg, Ohio or something. Uh, just the east fork of the Little Miami River. And personally, I think this little river is kind of a treasure. It's a big state park down the way a little bit called the East Fork State Park, which contains a uh, sizable lake called Lake William Harsha, otherwise known as East Fork, Light, East Fork Lake, and a lot of recreational boating and fishing and so forth. Well, this is my little piece of paradise. I love it out here. Signing off.